Now, uh, you mentioned, you mentioned, Liv, uh, the Suns. You have some trust in the Suns. I like what they did last night without Bradley Beal. Uh, Devin Booker showed me something, and I think on the broadcast, uh, and one of the broadcasters said this at the end of the game, hey, who says this team doesn't have a point guard? The point guard is Devin Booker because uh, Devin Booker was dishing last night in some critical moments. They came up with big hoop after big hoop. Uh, they didn't have Beal. The Warriors didn't have Draymond Green. It looked like the Warriors are going to take advantage of the game or take over the game. They lost the lead and they lose the game. Uh, first of all, let's hear from the Suns post game, and then I want to get you guys' take on who you think the Phoenix Suns can ultimately be. You know, we have the depth, we have the talent all the way around, and, you know, just using that. You know, I had it going in the first half, and we knew that they're going to throw some different type of defense at us, and, you know, they did that down the stretch. You know, this, this was a good good win for us. You know, I think, you know, a test like that the first game, how we can see the, the energy sway and, you know, the game go back and forth, and then tighten it up down the stretch to get a win. It was big for us. A lot of good moments in the video. You was able to relive uh, some of those memories real quick. Um, but it was good to come in here and get the season started off right with a W. You're at the free throw line and the crowd is chanting CP3. Was that a, a surreal moment? Yeah, it was. Uh, Dario looked at me and started laughing. And I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> that was that was the first. You close basically with Kaminga over Wiggins. I thought both uh, Kaminga and, and uh, GP uh, were defending at a high level. And obviously, you got to guard you know, Kevin and, and Book out there. And, and uh, so it felt like those guys were, um, were defending well. And so we went with them. Um, and that's, you know, that's how it's going to be um, a lot of nights this year. It's like whoever's playing the best will, will um, finish the game. Fair point. Wow. I, 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 and before I get to your take, I mean, it's pretty clear. You went with Kaminga over Wiggins. Well, those guys were defending. And what's unsaid there is, and he wasn't. <laughs> and so <laughs> we went with the guys who were defending and Wiggins wasn't. Uh, just uh, uh, what did you see last night? Jeff and Liv, uh, Suns, Warriors. I like both teams. What did you see? Take it away, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I was about to say, look, we gonna play double dutch until somebody go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Suns were able to get production from folks who had the question marks on them from the season. Depth has been one of the main narratives around the Suns. You had a Kogi and Nurk shooting 75 plus percent true shooting from the field. Yeah, it was eight and nine field goals respectively. But if they're going to hit, if they're going to hit these shots efficiently, Nurk grabbing 14 boards, 14 rebounds. This, this is probably the least pressure Nurkic has had in his career playing. All he has to do is go out there and do his job. If they do their job correctly, the Suns, the sky is the limit for the Suns. And look, their bench might be a little sparse. Grayson Allen was out there doing um, hit training, high intensity interval training. He wasn't really doing too much, which I was a little shocked about. But coming <laughs> off the bench, he'll be more compartmentalizing the role. And when you have Eric Gordon, you will not have to worry about anyone being timid about shooting off the bench. This brother was letting it fly. And he was also one yeah. of the people in the fourth that was hitting clutch shots. I think the narrative for the West this season, West versus East, the West is stronger now. We had it. We had them for a few a few years, Holly. We had the East back for a few years, but we had a few defectors, and now the balance has kind of shifted. It's like the uncles versus the nephews in the East. Are the uncles going to be able to stay healthy enough to make it to the finals and be in a... In a, in a close to 100% to be able to take on the nephews. Every A lot of these top teams, Suns, Lakers, Warriors, can they remain healthy? If the Suns can remain healthy, I think they can go. They, they could at the very least challenge for the Western Conference Finals Championship. And they did all of this without Bradley Beal. I think we saw a good distribution. I'm eager to see how Beal fits in. Because if he can fit in and slot in as number three, I think this can be... He could be the most effortless PRA points, rebound, assist lock that we have in the NBA this season because all he has to do is go out there and hoop. And he was doing that already in Washington. Let him do that in the with the Suns where he's going to have probably the third best defender. It gets real scary. If healthy, asterisk if healthy, the Suns can go super far. Hmm. 
I, don't, I mean, I don't disagree, yeah. but I'll tell you right now. <laughs> you do a little bit. You, no, well, you maybe a little, a little but I, but I gotta I gotta flame them really quick. Whoever set up the tripod and said, "Ready, get set, pick up a weight." Kevin, you're gonna do some squats. Um, you're gonna bounce on that big bouncy ball. You're gonna grab a resistance band. We're gonna do this for 15 seconds, and then you can go to the locker room. Shame on you. First of all, now this video is out in the universe, and we're now going. The Suns hitting that, getting that work after that win. <laughs> Please, they did not sit there and do a full body workout after they played that game. That was set up for a social media hit, and I seriously was almost in tears looking at it. Like, who planned this? Why did you plan this? And more importantly, what made you watch that video and go, "This is perfect." Posted. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. The Suns, I just, I can't with that. You got to quit doing all I'm that. I'm social beyond it. Oh my God, man. They just be going crazy. And honestly, I think that is something about the Suns that I struggle with, not their social media, but I think that they are really flashy and they look really good on paper and they have really great moments and they they go a really long stretch in the regular season where they're, I mean, come on, come on, what uh, are we doing? Oh, oh wow. What okay. are we doing here? Oh, I look mean, at that. Come on 135 now. on the on the squat rack is is that's kind of light. I would expect KD need to put on another plate. He need to put on another <laughs> you plate. You know for too. a fact. You know for a <laughs> fact. Once he finished those 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 releves for his calves, he they they hung it up and they walked right All back right. to the locker room. They didn't sit there and do a workout. Are you All kidding? Right. This one, this 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 this. <laughs> if you turn it around, I see I see Ron Burgundy, <laughs> Anchorman. 104, 105. Oh. That's crazy. But I think the problem with the Suns is they are flashy. They do look good on paper. I compared them to the Bills a little bit, where you look at them on paper and oh, you go, shot. yeah, 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 another yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I'm sorry. But when you when we started the NFL season, did we or did we not look at this Bills roster and say, this is a top three, top five roster that can make some serious damage? They have flashy moments. They're competitive against the Dolphins. We've seen the Suns have a really long stretch of winning games in the regular season. And then when it matters, they just they don't have that dog in them. That's the best way I can put it. I don't know how else to explain it, but when it matters, I worry about that sparse bench. I worry about Real. there's only so much a Devin Booker can do by himself. It's like, yes, it's flashy and it looks really good and it's fun to watch, but it, what is the longevity of it? That's the part I don't trust with the Suns. Same right. thing I don't uh, trust about the okay. Suns. So. so Jeff Jeff, Jeff, and Liv, as, as we bring in the music, I just want to get to your thoughts and uh, you know, 30 seconds total. Uh, do the Warriors have that dog in them. I think they do. I, I'm intrigued by the Warriors. I, I like what they're doing. Uh, what do you guys think about the Warriors? They got it? Once they brought in Chris Paul, they brought in a kennel. It's going to be scary in the fourth quarter to have him and, and Curry. Good luck, Western Conference. Agreed. You got to have that dog All in right. you. They got that dog in them. That's the best way I can put it. Jeff Can't said they brought in the kennel. <laughs> they brought in the kennel. I love that. When they brought Chris Paul. Sometimes the kennel gets crazy now. Yeah. I, I, I can see the crazy coming out last night a little bit. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.